Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 7 and 8 of Magical Girl Lyrical Nanaha Strikers. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. So, um, BTW, it is the 10th, aka Friday. Once again, today was the only day that I record this, or I'm trying to hurry up and get it done. I am literally rushing because I gotta be up very um kind of early ask tomorrow i know i don't know why but it seems like in the little the little recap or also showing new things in the episode it feels like tia is questioning herself and questioning you know her partnership with subaru maybe just a feeling Okay, so I got a question real quick. Is this episode going to go more in depth on the relationship between the Doctor, Fate, and Nanaha and that past situation leading up to why he wants revenge on him? I mean, on them? Like, I feel like signs are pointing to yes, but then at the same time, I don't think we're going to get that. Probably not much later, you know? thing is oh they look so pretty <laughs> okay as i was trying to say my thing is why have an auction something you know formal ish with everything of what is going on in the situation of this series
Isn't that... In a way, like, the guardians of her. But kind of almost sometimes it's the other way around, yes. If there is. Why don't you just tell her? I mean, that is your partner. I mean, it makes sense also <clears throat> that the doctor would want her. So regardless, like she needs to hurry up and meet up with Nanaha and the rest of the team so that she can be under their protection. But who knows when they're going to meet up. Freaking knows. Oh my God. Because she wants to protect Nanoha.
felt like the roar was more intimidating in the movie, but it is still good here, right here, right now, but mm. That's because she a child. She doesn't know that what she's about to do is about to have the fate of the whole humanity, the world, and everything as we know it. She just thinks she's doing something good right now. Get on it, girl. Honey, what you doing? We, we, look, doctors are sweet. Not all of them. Some of them, but not all of them. I don't like the way that looked. Did it just like absorb her powers or something for a moment? Or just like her abilities to be somewhat smoother? Or I mean not smoother, similar to her? If that is only a tiny fragment of her power, imagine if it's at 100%.
But so now here's the thing. No one be alone. We all go as a group together. And she's about to just take it like it's fucking nothing. So, um, I don't like this little girl. Is that okay? Right, um, no offense, I gotta agree with Tia, because when is soon, like, five minutes? The one thing that you don't want to hit Subaru. It is. It's very reckless, but she gonna do it. She hard hit it. But you know, she just knocked them things out of the fucking park. But. God. Don't fuck up a tea self and steam like badly. She if you thought she was bad in this at the beginning of this episode, she about to be much, much worse. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't trust them.
No, they just keep together. Mm -hmm. They flirting when they don't even think that they're flirting. Come on now. And they're probably arguing. Okay, now we we technically officially closed the cape. You know, it's the only one we did we needed to see. So now the whole everyone's been seen, and everybody once again looks so good. Older, oh my god, they all look so fucking cute. But I do feel bad for Tia. You could tell that in the preview for this episode that it was going to mainly focus on her, and that her self esteem going in from last week to this week was pretty much going to even be worse and. With Vita yelling at both of them. Excuse me. Excuse my yawn. I'm sleepy. Um, <clears throat> yelling at both of them because of the fact is Tia decided to use what she used. And because of that, like, yeah, she could have seriously hurt Subaru. Truly. Like, Subaru could have gotten really hurt. Really, really bad or even worse. Subaru could have gotten killed. Or just injured to the point where she had to be taken out. She had to be put on bed rest. And who knows how long she would have been, you know, on bed rest. And then, of course, Tia would have blamed herself. But, of course, Tia blames herself even more now because of what she did. What she thought she did was right was wrong. And it happens. We all make mistakes. We're not perfect. And I just think... Even her lashing at Subaru and, you know, Subaru saying what she's saying and saying, you know, it's okay, I'm sorry, da 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 Tia doesn't hear that. She doesn't see that. She just sees that she almost hurt her partner today, which is one of the most emotional things that you want to do to your partner because that is your partner. Your partner is like your family. So I feel like in episode eight, we are going to see these two um, lash out at each other probably several times maybe or just where Subaru tries to comfort Tia but Tia just want to hear that and such. You might get one of those but by the end of the episode, yes, these two will definitely reconcile and forgive each other and move on and be a better team at the end of it. That does not mean I want the kids to argue. They're too cute. Let them flirt. And be adorable. Yes. Let Fate's kids flirt. And then these two could just argue over some more freaking time. And then we kiss and make up. I mean, but yeah, I do. Majority less. I feel bad for Tia. I really do. But yeah. See, you know. Oh my god. That was so fucking cute. I can't. I want to cry. You're so freaking bad. Like, yes. The whole gang is here. Like, oh my. I was not expecting him to show up. But yeah. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode eight. Alrighty, episode eight in three, two, one, go.
can already tell this is going to be a somber emotional episode because the music, oh my god. I know it's not gonna look at you. No, no, it's going to talk to you. No, no, no. You're still upset. yourself you're with your teammate your teammate is like your soulmate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. see everything was gonna be okay You look so cute with the glasses on. Oh, oh my, I'm gonna die. Well, it just looks like both of them are having the freaking romantical moments. And then fate. Poor fate. fate. Baby get no one. Damn.
the afternoon. It look like it's more than evening in the it's a <laughs> But that also meant you too, Tia? He died. So she keeps that inside still. So. Mm. So I hear that that also hurt her too. Go get some sleep. Of course. You're not just an average person, Tia. Mm -hmm. She just has to find it on her own. It's just like 
her wall has been so fucked up, but she's lost her confidence and you just feel bad for her. And once you lose that, it, it's really hard to get it back. Yeah, because she wants to talk to you. She's going to say yes, but no inside, she's not. That's me at 6 a.m. wondering, like, why am I getting up? I don't want to get up. No. Because you're a team, and teams always do stuff together. Of course they do. <laughs> The fact that she isn't giving up and that she's just determined to see this through just tells her how much she's grown. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, we all know it was bound to happen, so why not let it happen now until, like, the last episode of the series, you know? Well, was not expecting that at all. Mm. Oh, that was a distraction, baby. Is right.
the fact that Nanoha did what she did. I mean, I understand. I understand it. I understand it. But, like, you know, I'm seeing, I got to see it both sides. Both sides. Like, yes, I agree with her. But at the same time, I'm over here like, damn, did you really have to do that? Like, Subaru look at her like, fuck you, bitch. Like, damn. Even though you saved me still. Fuck you. Like, ooh, I don't like you right now in this situation. At this year time and moment. Oh. I don't even know what else to say. Like, that truly hurt. Like, even what Nano has said, is my training really that bad? And that may, like, for Tia and Subaru not to say anything, it almost makes Nanoha, like, she's now questioning herself and her ranking. So, of course, she's going to feel some type of way. Like, Jesus Christ. Everybody's feelings in, in Nanoha's, like, team just got hurt right now. I feel bad for all three of them because... You would think that by the end of this episode, they would have been okay. But, you know, looks can be deceiving. They really was like, yeah, we're gonna, um, that's not happening this week. No, we gotta wait more and more week, you know, because once again, T is still feeling the way she is feeling about, because she's still hurt over her brother. And I am not mad about that. I get that. If you want, you can still be hurt over losing someone so many years later. So I get her on that. But still, with that, it still makes her weak in a way. I don't like the way that go. I don't like the... No! Ho wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me, nope, 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 nope. Go, go back to the end again. Go, let me see that last little bit again. Cause, um, seeing raising heart and, and then blood in the snow and Nanaha hurt with Vita. Mm-mm. 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 Tia, what you do? But see, the way that Nanoha looks right there with Vita, that looks like younger Nanoha and not older. But no, I think that's more older. So I'm guessing, yeah, Vita, I mean, not Vita, T is going to lash out and possibly want to get revenge on Nanoha. I'm guessing I could be wrong about that. But I don't like the way that preview just ended. No, that makes me very anxious for the next two episodes to see whatever the heck is going to happen. But these two were very emotional and you know we we are on just the start of the emotional roller coaster for this season and stuff and it's just gonna get worse and worse but i have really nothing else to say damn other than that guys that is my action view towards episode seven and eight of Magical Girl Lyrical Nano Hut Strikers. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10. Bye, guys.